Heavenly Father, Jesus our Saviour, Holy Spirit, we worship and we adore and we glorify you at this time. Thank you Lord for being with us at this time. Let us spend these 30 minutes in a worthy manner at His presence, thanking God, worshipping God on this 28th Ordinary Sunday for all His blessings upon us. Let us worship Him in silence, our hearts and minds using our body and strength. Let us worship Him in silence, looking at the body of Christ.
Dear loving children of God, let us worship the Lord together as one family. As God is present here at this time, as we have received this grace to be at His presence now, whatever way possible, kneeling down or sitting comfortably, opening our hands, opening our hearts and minds, let us worship the Lord for all that we have received, spontaneously or even verbally. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. We adore you, Father. We glorify you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Praise you, Holy Spirit. Let us acknowledge all the blessings, your good health, your family, your job, your children, their studies, and all that they are doing good in life. Thank God for the good food that we eat, all the comfort and the care and the facilities we have, all that we enjoy in our life every day. God's providence and protection upon each one of us every day. Every day graces and blessings, good inspirations, everything. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Jesus. Let us also surrender our hardships and struggles and worship the Lord. Let us also offer our burdens that we are carrying within us all the burdens that we can't share with anybody, offering all those burdens, whatever may be our difficulties or hardships, whatever that is in the core of our hearts, all kinds of sadness, sorrows, offer at the feet of Jesus. Let us try to worship. Hallelujah, Father. Lord, we glorify you. We glorify you. You are the king. You are the king as you said about the wedding feast, the parable today. You are the king. You invite us every day. The invitation, we have received God's invitation every day. But very few people respond to that invitation. Thank you, Lord. Today, when we few people are sitting at the feet of Jesus now, some of us are joining with this worship through Facebook. Some others are with the, in YouTube. And then we all are physically present here, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You look at each one of us. And you know us through and through. You know our families. You know what is going on in my personal life. You know what is happening in my life right now. Thank you, Lord. Surrendering everything, I worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glorify you, Lord. Glorify you, Jesus. I use my heart and my mind, my body, worshiping God, because I know this is a big reality that I do now. I acknowledge God in my life. I acknowledge the power of Jesus in my life. There is power in Jesus. There is power in His eternal word. There is healing with Him. There is miracles and wonders in His name. I acknowledge this and I believe this. I have experienced this and I have seen this in this world. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Adore you, Father. I love you, Jesus. Glorify you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Praise you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, 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 Lord. Worship you, Lord. Adore you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for all the blessings, innumerable blessings, countless blessings. Thank you, Lord. Your graces. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. All the good inspirations, all the good desires, the perseverance and the endurance that you are giving. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glorify you, Lord. Glorify you, Lord. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, along with all the people worshipping you from different parts of this world. All the holy Eucharistic celebrations of today, all the holy adorations of today, all the God preaching of God's promising word today, all the people who worship the Lord, we join with them, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We acknowledge from this part of the world. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We are sure that we are sitting and worshipping our God. We are sure that we are sitting and worshipping a genuine God. We know we are worshipping a faithful God. We are worshipping a sincere God. We are worshipping a God who is unconditional in His love, who is always ready to forgive, and His mercy is endless. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Thank you for the gift of joy. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of peace. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of discipline. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for making an order. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Worship the Lord on behalf of your children. Worship the Lord on behalf of your colleagues. Worship the Lord on behalf of your burdens. Worship the Lord on behalf of all that you are undergoing personally. Good times and bad times. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Lord, you know us. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Praise you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Praise you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We know this very well that without a God we can't do nothing. Without a God we can't do nothing. We also believe and we also know this that everything works with Him. Everything works with Him. Without Him this is not easy and he has he has answer for everything he has answer for everything everything whatever i am challenged whatever i am facing right now whatever the confusions whatever where i am struck now everything has an answer with jesus only with jesus through faith today's gospel today's gospel in a way reminding us once again we all have received this invitation to participate that big banquet of the wedding feast a big banquet and jesus mentioned today's gospel how big this banquet how solemn this celebration because he fattened the cattle ready to kill the oxen and the wedding is ready the meals are prepared but those who are invited some of them said no some of them rejected some of them said they are busy with their business some others want to go to their farms some others are busy with their household matters invitation is given to everyone every single child i am i am given this invitation to participate the banquet you are given this invitation to participate every day every day this wedding feast a 
am I open to this invitation? Or how much zeal I have, how much zeal I have towards witnessing the love of God? Some people, when they have received this invitation, they just ignored it. Lord, today we see you through this blessed sacrament and we see you face to face soon in life. We see you face to face. You will remember this time that we spent in front of the blessed sacrament. As the spiritual fathers, those who are spiritually grown up, they said, during the time of our last judgment, or the last day of our life. God will speak every single thing that we have done in this world. Or there will be a display in front of us. And we will be really wondered and shocked by reading or seeing whatever that we have done in our life. But Jesus also will remember the time that we spent with Him, the time that we took seriously, the time that we shared with Jesus. At this time when we spent time with Him, this is also counted. Thank you, Lord, as we see you face to face. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Today's gospel passage reminds us, am I open to his invitation? If I am not, if I am not open, ready to open it, ready to open my mind or heart, when will I open up to him? How much more I can ignore this reality? How much more I need to wait again to come back to God? Even though I have experienced that real lasting joy and peace only with Jesus, why I still be in my own ways? Why I am not taking seriously my vocation? Why I am just living with my everyday pressures? A question to my own self. A question to each one of us, to ourselves. Why? Why I am not taking seriously my vocation? I know that I possess only Christ and He possessed me already. I know the reality that I am going to face. But again, why we are ignored? Why, why we are neglecting that invitation as today's gospel? Why I am neglecting? Why I am boasting too much about my life? Today's Gospel, the last paragraph, that also speaks to us in a different spiritual insight. When the king came in look at the guest, he noticed one man who was not wearing a wedding garment and said to him, How did you get in here, my friend, without a wedding garment? And the man was silent. Then the king said to the attendants, Bind him hand and foot and throw him out into the dark. What do you mean by this wedding garment? 
it depends upon each one depends on person to person wedding garment is only a symbol of wearing christ but it is a must to wear this wedding garment or it is a must to wear christ today's gospel reminds all of us that we have been given invitation for this wedding feast big banquet if i am not responded rightly this response is not once in a month or once in a year every day every day time we get up till time till the time we go to bed acknowledge god in all aspects of our life try try to acknowledge god in all aspects of our life so that we can wear this wedding garment always we can wear christ Thank you Lord for your present your presence in this most beautiful sacrament. We worship you. We adore you and we glorify you. Lord, we do remember every single one who is struggling. Pain pain of your children the big pain that the world is undergoing right now mental agonies physical pain emotional breakdown and the loneliness of life and the spiritual dryness all that is going on with your children we also remember very specially today as we prayed this morning those who are having great grief or sorrows connected with the loss of their beloved ones those who could not go for the burial of their beloved ones those who could not do the homage the big pain that they are carrying in their hearts and minds those people when they come to know their health report man or health reports maybe all of a sudden they come to know they have got a serious sickness unexpected way they are diagnosed with the different types of cancers unexpected way they come to know that their health is deteriorating we can expect only something good from god and only from god 
we all try to learn to accept everything from God. Surrendering all our intentions at the feet of Jesus. We wish good for others and we pray for others. At the same time, ready to accept whatever that comes on our path. Trying to learn for that maturity to take up our crosses and follow Jesus, not turning back. Remembering our family members, our parents and siblings, your spouse and your children, their intentions. Let us sing together down in adoration. If possible, kneel down at this time. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Let us do the divine praises together. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood, blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar, blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete, Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. 
Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen. Thank you.